Um, so I noticed that you guys are really popular on the media. Um, I'm definitely, um, I saw you guys, I heard your stuff on Reverb Nation. Um, I saw a lot of stuff on uh, Facebook. Um, you guys got a lot of reviews, uh, positive reviews. Um, have you ever, has someone ever came up to you guys and said like, hey, you're the guy from Cognitive, or has that ever happened to you guys? Well, I mean, definitely at shows we do get, you know, some recognition there. Uh, I mean, a couple times maybe on the street, but, you know, more or less in our area. Uh, but, yeah, a few times. <laughs> yeah, pretty much what he said. It's not like, like, holy shit, but, like, you might be, like, somewhere like, you know, like, a couple towns over and someone would be like, are you, are you in cognitive? And, like, you're like, oh, yeah, yeah, I am, I guess. <laughs> Sadly, I am. <laughs> did you walk out of your show one time? Yeah, you probably did. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Um, that that doesn't get you excited. You're just like, yeah, I'm from. No, there. no, it's it's <laughs> humbling. It's definitely humbling. It's awesome. Um, just people recognize you, whether it's just from like talking to you online and like I throw shows in Jersey, so I get a lot of people ask me about shows and stuff too. But it's it is definitely humbling, like people putting a face together with the music and the band name and all that. What's what's the difference between a Jersey show, your hometown show, and like a show like from different places? What's the difference? Is it do they know you like really well there? Uh, or I mean, Jersey, we have a really strong family base there. Mm -hmm. uh, the like I said, the, the only way to put it is we have a really strong family. So Jersey for us is a huge deal. It's always a great show. I mean, we've never. Any show you play is a good show as long as somebody's having a good time, even if you're just having a good time. But uh, for that, yeah, definitely Jersey is just different because it's family. Okay. Yeah, I, I don't think it's even just Jersey. I think like the Philly scene, yeah. the New York scene. You, uh, we got a lot of friends in Long Island and fans up there. Um, you know, as we get to, we played a lot more in like Virginia Beach as well, stuff like that. But as uh, as we get to tour and hit these new uh, states a lot more, it's definitely getting more and more like. Oh, I want to go see Cognitive again, but like he said, just Jersey is awesome. The, the whole tri-state area by us is just amazing, especially to us and the whole scene as a whole. It's awesome. Oh, how do you feel about like touring here in LA? Do you, um, are you like recognizable with like the scene here, or? I've never been out here with Cognitive before, but uh, I was excited. Like uh, Jesus, uh, what was the name of his band? Blood Scribe. I've known him just from talking to him on the internet and all that, but like he was like one of the first guys that I've ever met, like that was a fan of Cognitive from the West Coast and all that. But uh, it's been awesome just to be able to get out here with our music and everything. I can't wait. To, like tomorrow we're playing Anaheim and everything, so I can't wait to see what the other shows are like. Yeah. This is my first time in California, LA, or anywhere near this area. Uh, <laughs> being in Cognitive, this is the first time I've ever been on a, a lengthy tour. Uh, we've done a few like 10 days and such beforehand, but yeah, this is the first time I've ever really kind of made it further into the country and get to see what you know, it all has to offer. Awesome. And um, yeah, tell me um, a little bit about the process of your guys' writing and stuff. What do you guys mostly write about? Like, what's. <laughs> you mean like lyrically? Yeah. Like oh man. Uh, so we have songs about aliens. I think there's a zombie song. Mostly anything that has to do with the, the doom of humanity because we're death metal and etc. Uh, I like to, I don't know, it's it's really whatever inspires me that day, which just so happens to be sci-fi or horror related because I'm a nerd. <laughs> <laughs> so you watch the X-Files? I used to, actually. <laughs> that show's fun. <laughs> See? She likes it. That show's She also thought we were from Germany. We could be. <laughs> you could be. You could. You could be born there. Maybe. With your last name. My definitely. last name. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, explain me your um, your guys' type of musician life. Um, all bands have different musician lives, right? Would you agree? Yeah, definitely. Uh, is there... Well, has your guys his life outside of doing cognitive is he, music is music yeah. he promotes he <laughs> manages yeah book tours throw shows get band stickers man. I work with the elderly oh, uh, okay. yeah the past eight years of my life I've worked in senior livings uh, I love it it's a complete switch from playing death metal 
you know, and uh, do you show them your tunes and then they, they start have, like moshing they have and asked stuff? Me <laughs> and uh, I refuse to because they have such a positive, you know, outlook on what I do, and they're so That's interested. So good music. Yeah, and then one day she's like, "Yeah, sure, I'm gonna press play, and I might just get fired, or uh, I don't want to lose that." It's like working with you know 100, 200 grandparents a day. You know, I love it. it I've been with them for eight years. I'm not gonna sour that taste with my sour taste of music. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah, I was going to ask you guys what you guys do other than cognitive. Oh, yeah, that, that's pretty much it. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Um, and you got any new tunes out? How uh, many albums do you guys have we've out? Got the EP, The Hard Swarm, and then we've got the full length. It's self-titled. Uh, we're working on new stuff now. We got how many? Three three songs? Yeah, we got three songs going now. Oh, okay. So, awesome. We're right, and we're, when we're done on this tour, I think we're going to try and finish it up, but like even after this tour, we got a bunch of other tours booked, so we're busy the whole time. Yeah. We're trying to squeeze it in, but we don't write two songs in one night like you expected. <laughs> no, that's not what I expected. Out, you know? oh, but not that's you possible. Write. You know you write two songs. Hey, you don't, you don't know. <laughs> Drum machine chugs. That's all we need. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, yeah, um, that's it. Thank you guys very much. And no you guys were really badass. Thank you. Thank you you guys much. are really good. You guys have some really good tunes. Thank you. Um,